I've lived in a number of places over the years. But anyway, after uh, I got out of the army in uh, the late, uh, in an, oh no, early, early 70s, and went to uh, New Mexico. And uh, so started, actually that's when I first started learning about gardening. And uh, I've always gardened over the years, I mean, no matter what. So I ended up going on and working as a computer engineer. I went and got my degree actually at the University of New Mexico. There's something about when, when you raise your own garden, raising plants, it's a, it's a balance. For me, it was a balance for other factors, other facets in my life. So I used to go up to Los Alamos. I'd work in a very high-tech computer center. And so that's like one dimension of your thinking. So on the other is this very organic, working with soil, working with plants. You know, you, you, it's really more you're, you're seeing what the, what the universe is going to provide as opposed to sort of forcing. You know, engineering is forcing. Gardening is sort of accepting. It's a balance between two facets of one psyche. I looked for tools and there was, there were very, very few things available. And so basically at the small scale, you were reduced to using tools that have been around for hundreds of years. What's happened? So most of the technology has been devoted towards getting ever larger, both from the equipment side, larger pieces of equipment, uh, higher scale, you know, the big, massive farms. And so that's where technology, the thought, the inputs have all gone towards that. And so the small producer, the gardener, the small farmer has been left behind and has been very little improvement in the tools that they use, um, how those tools, the, the few that they have, how well they work, how efficient they are, those types of things. And I realized, oh, that motion of hand hoeing is very amenable to a circular motion of a, of a wheel. And so unlike a tiller that's trying to sort of dig deep, I was looking at, oh, what about something that might take and do that, the hoeing motion repetitively? And so that's where Tilly came from. We're gonna see a, a, a real renaissance in tool making. Okay, and so anyway, I think it'll be fun.